What's up, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Marketing for Coaches. We were just chatting before I hit record about uh, luminaries of of music of the past, uh, Sir Mix a Lot and Tone Loke and and some other some other people. Just wondering where where are they now? Wondering about like cutting cutting cover albums. Um, anyway, that's a that's a conversation for a different time. That's a different channel. Link will not be in the show notes. We don't release those <laughs> recordings on the reg, but we do release these on the reg. And this episode, I wanted to, I wanted us to focus for a little bit on really the gold, the absolute pristine, pure 100% gold that testimonials are for, for your business. Now testimonials is, I, it's a word I always kind of tripped over because it seems rather like, I don't know, it seems very like formulaic or not formulaic, but it's like testimonials, you know, seems almost too formal where it's just basically people talking about them liking you or just people indicating publicly, publicly that they liked what you did for them. Whether that's like a five-star review or a thumbs up on a social post or or a, a recorded video where someone just espouses what it was like to work with you. And it's just like, holy crap, that's, that's really sweet. That's really awesome. Thank you. And then somebody else who is similar to that person sees them praising you mm-hmm. and hears them using words or sees them using words that sound like what you would say, or that kind of reflect their own experience. And so that's, that's that moment where, again, you have no idea that interaction is happening, but someone sees mm-hmm. someone else praising you in a way that they respond to and then they reach out because they see themselves as a future client of yours through that testimonial, through that review, through that brief or or long moment of praise. And that's sort of like the short, short version of why testimonials are solid gold, <laughs> absolute solid gold. Why don't you speak for a, a couple minutes at least? I can go on about this forever, but why why I why I like to I like to use the term solid gold when talking about testimonials because obviously we're coming from a a branding and marketing perspective. So why don't you talk a little bit about why that's that's just solid gold assets for for someone well, like us? What I want to do what I want to do is talk a little bit about some practicalities here and and give some tips on how you can actually make this work because that's one of the things that we want to do in this channel, um, guys, is help you like with with actionables. Mm-hmm. Um, so Kevin, I think you did a great job of espousing the value of testimonials. It's pretty obvious, right? It's social proof. The value there is in someone else telling your prospects how great you are versus marketing, which is you telling your prospects <laughs> how great you are, right? So you get that social proof where it's coming from this third party. Um, right. And so, so then there's, there's, there's kind of more trust built in there. There's more authority built in there. Um, and all those words that we love to use at Boxer because we think that they mean everything because they do. Um, what I want to, but what I want to talk about is, is the practicality of getting these and the value of the, the one, two punch of the case study with a testimonial, Mm. which is, which is something we didn't, we didn't talk about. I just thought about it as you were talking, we hadn't Mm -hmm. talked about it prior to recording this, but if you can do so on your, your website, um, on uh, a YouTube video like this, if you can talk about the case study and, and list out, you know, before, uh, before intervention, what it is that, how it, how, what and how you intervened and then the results that came from that. And then on top of that, have the client testimonial, ideally video. Video always works great because you see the person's face, their facial expressions, um, they're, they're actually saying the words. It's not just something typed out. It's not just text that type, that's typed out that maybe you wrote yourself and you could have added a fake name to it. Not that you guys would ever do that. We certainly would never do that. Um, but you see what I'm getting at, right? The, 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 there's, there's more inherent trust and authority uh, and, and possibility for brand building built into video testimonials, especially when those are attached to uh, any kind of hard data that you can get in, mm-hmm. the, in the form of a case study. Mm-hmm. And that is, I mean, if you want to convince people that you know what you're doing and that you do great work, uh, that's that's like that's it that's that's the the king of the hill yeah we speak to what we did and what the results were and the client speaks to 
how how their experience was with us. You basically it, it's 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 the complete experience of what it would be like to work with us from every mm-hmm. relevant stakeholder's perspective, and you get it encapsulated in this very well summed up case study with hard numbers, a before, during, and after, and then the, the straight from the quote unquote horse's mouth, so to speak, not the clients or horses, but you know what I mean, just straight from the source. This is what this was like to work with this company and get these results. That really, that speaks to every pain and pleasure point that any prospect is going to want to be spoken to on before they've even met you or as they're meeting you, as they're encountering you. More tips, more tips on on testimonials. If you can't get a video testimonial, um, if, if your client uh, emails you, um, with a really amazing compliment, screenshot the hell out of that. Yeah. You know, ask them their permission to to post it. Uh, if they if they don't want their name to be associated with the testimonial or with a with a post or with a screenshot, you can blur out their name and and still post it. Like people, we do that all the time. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, if you run if you run a mastermind or if you run group coaching, um, ask for ask for public reviews, ask for Google reviews, ask for Facebook reviews, screenshot those, right? Add those to your landing page, mm-hmm. um, add those to your funnel. If you're selling a course or if you're selling a, a mastermind, um, what we like to do at Boxer, what we've just started doing is running, uh, running ads that feature these little screenshots of, of reviews, of, of client testimonials, of, of, emails and comp- compliments that clients send us whether they send us those compliments via email instant messenger whatever we'll actually blur out their name and run and pay a dollar a day just a buck a day and run those as ads for for a few days um and it's just you know it, it's again it's an inexpensive way to build your brand build your authority and generate trust mm-hmm. and really and that's like and you identified it right up at the top too it's like you telling someone how great you are is never going to hit the same as someone else talking to someone else about mm-hmm. how great you are. That just, it just hits different on every level and it's going to get people that much closer to the no like, and trust factor that we always talk about here. That is the, it's the beginning of, and the foundation of every great client relationship you're ever going to have. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I love it, man. I, I've, 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 <laughs> I've said everything. I've given away everything. It's Again, it's like these these are subjects that honestly we can we can talk about for a couple of minutes and really hit the value on and offer some like, you know, actionable tips and tricks and we could riff on this for hours and hours and hours and days so long as Zoom would allow us to record because it's that, it's that rich of a subject and it's that important of a subject to really have a handle on. And so that's 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 why we love handling it. It's, it's, it's for the better that we limit ourselves in terms of time and how long we talk in these videos. Otherwise, you and I would just like, Ooh. like, like Laurel and Hardy, man, just go back and forth all day long. Like a less funny Laurel and Hardy. Like, like not funny at all. <laughs> just, just making jokes about Sergei Bobrovsky and the Florida Panthers. <laughs> just, and just like, just like Seinfeld, but without the laughs. But. <laughs> Just like that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this. Please, 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 please like, subscribe. (laughs) Leave us a comment below if if you're if 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 you're mass if you're a masochist and you enjoy this sense of humor. Leave us a comment and let us know. Tell us. Honestly, share it with your friends. Post this on on LinkedIn. This kind of content belongs on LinkedIn. Y'all need to lighten up over on LinkedIn. Everybody has to lighten up on LinkedIn. I love it. And if you want to tell us to, you know, trim the sails and keep things a little bit more serious, please tell us that. We're probably well, we'll listen to you. We will we will hear your voice. We'll probably still be silly. I mean, come on, you can only contain this so much. But either way, we would love to hear from you. And we hope this is helpful. And also lightened your day a little bit, lightened and brightened your day a little bit, and maybe shed a little light on how to go about your business. So speaking of going about your business, we'll see you again real soon.